Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be analyzing two top cryptocurrencies which are Bitcoin, the king of all cryptocurrencies and Chainlink. We will see where they might move over the next weeks and months and we will be reviewing our predictions made early in June and in July. Let's see if we were right or not and let's see where uh, the two cryptocurrencies in terms of price target can move over the next weeks and months. Please subscribe to our channel if you want us to keep releasing technical analysis and price predictions for free. Also like our videos and leave a comment. We will also put a link uh, inside the description uh, uh, field where you will have the chance to join our growing community on Patreon. Let's start with Bitcoin. Here we have a weekly chart which means every candle is a weekly one. In one of my previous uh, video, I've been stating that uh, actually this increase, this huge increase in terms of volumes, uh, which means, uh, in other words, a point of control, um, actually is the trigger for a strong movement up. Uh, I've been uh, giving, I've been clearly giving out as a price target 20,000 US dollar. I will, I do believe we're going to hit 24,000 US dollar. So, uh, really soon, uh, uh, within the third, uh, the first quarter of 2021, we're going to hit 24k, uh, which is my very first target. Uh, and I will be uh, restating, I'm restating again that the very first target for Bitcoin, in my case, a realistic target is 45,000 US dollars. Uh, what happened is that after having broken about this uh, relative high, I've been uh, actually clearly stating that we are going to hit uh, in a very fast and strong way the all time high at 20,000 US dollar, which actually is happening right now. Now, if we analyze the MACD, we see that actually we are in the ascending phase of the Gauss curve, yet we can definitely see a bearish divergence. Uh, and the reason is that actually we see uh, an increase in terms of price while the MACD is still uh, lower when compared with the second wave, okay, when compared with this uh, MACD, with this phase of the MACD. Now, uh, what is going to happen uh, right now? Um, since uh, we see uh, four long white candles of actually very similar amplitude. The amplitude is the difference between the high and the low. Uh, I do believe we are still not uh, hitting uh, our target, which means we still have room for an increase in terms of price. Uh, in my previous analysis, uh, uh, when uh, actually we have been retracing uh, till this area, actually 4,500 US dollar, I've been uh, um, actually reinstating my bullish uh, uh, idea about Bitcoin. Uh, we are still inside uh, a bullish trend. And now we have the confirmation because we've broken above this relative high. This relative high actually is the confirmation that the bull trend has confirmed itself again. And now we have relative, we have we have absolutely space, we have absolutely empty room till 20,000 US dollars. Again, the most important factor that we should be taking into consideration, that we should be underlying, is this point of control, this huge increase in terms of volume, which means institutionals most probably have come in place and they have started buying in a very massive way. Uh, Bitcoin. So again, very first target, 24,000 US dollar. From there, I do believe we're going through a period of squeezing. Uh, we will be retesting 20 and I guess even 18,000 US dollar. But in, that, in such a case, and we will be updating our analysis later in the future, uh, let's uh, keep calm because that will be a natural uh, uh, squeezing movement. It will be a natural movement. It will be a natural retrace from a new all-time high. So. Uh, right now, again, uh, we have no doubt. We will. We didn't have any doubt even before. But right now, uh, the technical analysis is quite clear to us. Uh, we've broken above this relative high. We have a huge increase in terms of volume. So, twenty thousand US dollar will be broken. Uh, will be destroyed over the next uh, weeks and months. So, uh, actually, 
uh, we will have new targets so 24,000 again it's my target and I've explained why 24,000 uh, US dollar uh, because of the projection okay between the difference of free from the relative high and the relative low uh, which give us a 24,000 US dollar again my realistic real first very first target will be 45,000 US dollar now let's move on and let's analyze chain link chain link is a fantastic chart uh, um, if you have if you had a chance to see my previous analysis I was waiting uh, for a strong retrace which actually happened i gave 7.5 us dollar as very first target for retrace actually that was hit and it was hit perfectly uh, i remember that uh, some very dubious comment which is uh, totally okay um, it's absolutely okay to receive some uh, uh, comment some contrarian comment uh, uh, i remember that many of you were skeptical about the idea of hitting 7.5 us dollar which actually happened uh, and from here right now we see a reversal pinball okay this is a, actually is a, mi a mix between a doji and a reversal pinball uh, now uh, let's give some price action now we will need to break both this resistance this horizontal resistance resistance area above 13,000 US dollar and then we will see again 20,000 US dollar as all time high which will be easily broken okay now what we see in terms of volumes uh, in terms of volumes we see an increase a point of control right now here and now to again increase in terms of volumes uh, with this very first doji and this uh, long white candle still in formation okay uh, in terms of MACD we see that we are above steadily above the zero area which is an extremely important factor even if uh, uh, the blue curve is actually has crossed below the orange one we have to state that we have to reinstate that the blue curve is now positive which means the derivative is above the zero which is a positive signal while the orange one which is actually more lagging uh, when compared with the blue one is still uh, negative okay but the most important thing when we analyze the MSCD and if we backtest the MSCD is that actually we want to see the MSCD above the zero while uh, and not okay below the zero line so again above the 13 US dollar we can definitely start triggering some long we can uh, uh, open new longs uh, because 20 US dollar will be broken easily over the next weeks and months okay thank you guys